What's going on, Mr. Dave out here in Romona? And we have put on the texture coat on the big grotto cave slide project we have been working on. <coughs> and so let me show you what 900 pounds of texture coat looks like. We spray it on and then we use our magic potion to finish it. So you can kind of see the cracks we carve into it. Here's in a little um, satellite, what we call these individual stones. And we blew it on with the Stator 2 pumper that I had to take it to the shop because it didn't work. It was needing a little tension. And so we went ahead and got that guy going. So you can see the texture there. Try to make it look like the real thing. So we spray on and then we knock it down with a brush and, and that gives us a more natural looking texture. Not too weird, not too uh, spitty, I guess you might want to call it. And then over here we've got the entrance to the cave. We add in our cracks and details. You just try to think about what the real thing looks like. And that's kind of the goal, as it were. Giving ourselves a real looking structure, grotto, cave, grotto pool thing and you can just see that it's it's pretty amazing and this is this is 900 pounds again so that covers a good portion of it here's the pumper I think it cost me 19 grand you know 15 years ago or something so it's no small machine <clears throat> mixes up 900 pounds goes into the hopper which that is and there's a corkscrew kind of thing that's the auger and it goes into what's called a stator tube and inside that's a stator and it's just this little corkscrewy chrome or stainless steel shaft that then draws through a little blob at a time. So this thing has an excellent control of, of the quantity of material coming through. Um, I think it's a 35 horse Kawasaki motor, I think. Something like that. And, uh, and then over here is the stator. It comes out of this tube and we hook it up to the hose, which is somewhere around here. There it is. And so that's kind of the way the big machine works, it's, it speeds up the process. They're not you know, doing it with that little hopper, which I think you can see in other videos. They can do 900 pounds at a time. The, there's a forward, that's forward, and that's reverse. So you can back it up. If there's a plug in the hose, you can back it up, back it off, and then this is the, the pumper button, and that's the mixer. So it's a, it's a pretty good machine. It gets the job done. Uh, and you'd pay attention and treat it with a great deal of respect because it could rip your arm off really easy. So the next batch will probably go somewhere, maybe the back here. And uh, that'll be nice and easy to reach. And you can see the gray color and then we get over here to the colored finish that we do, which is really cool. If you want to find out more about how that works and how we do that, just go to DaveRHenderson.com. <clears throat> DaveRHenderson.com and uh, sign up for my newsletter and or check out my blog and I'd love to hear your thoughts on the blogs on my ramblings you might say <laughs> but um, yeah davearhenderson.com we're going to try and put together uh, some various uh, courses and trainings and these sort of things I've got some on there right now they're all free at this point and I'm working on my book making rocks and got most of that thing done it's just a matter of fleshing out the last of it but that's coming so davearhenderson.com, head on down there and you can follow the links, scroll down, follow the links to the free content. Got one on, on um, five keys to effective uh, fake rock construction and I put some together on uh, shotcrete. So check it out, let me know your thoughts on it or anything else you're curious about when it comes to fake rock or starting your own business and that kind of thing because I get a kick out of talking about that too. So anyway, Mr. Dave out here in warm Ramona it's upwards of 90, I think, today, but it's a little breezy, so that's good. Um, and getting her done. So anyway, hope you're having a good day wherever you're at. Remember, get really good at forgiveness and gratefulness, and you get that dialed in, and your life will be one for the record books. So anyway, hope you're having a great day. God bless you guys, and I look forward to you on the next one. All right, take care, and we will see you then. Bye.